Today we continue our coverage on Severe Weather Awareness Week. 27 Storm Track meteorologist Alexis Clemens joins us to talk about the impacts of wind and lightning. Did you know that lightning is five times hotter than the sun? It briefly heats up the air to 50,000 degrees when it strikes. If you can hear thunder, you're close enough to be struck by lightning. So that's why we say when thunder roars, go indoors. It's also a good idea to wait about 30 minutes after the last roar of thunder you hear before going back outside to resume any activities. Now, lightning and thunder are usually big indicators that storms are coming, right? Another indicator that we sometimes see is strong wind gusts. And if you've lived in the Midwest for long enough, you probably know that the wind usually picks up ahead of a storm but sometimes the wind can create damage on its own without any rain. A gust front or an outflow boundary is the name we give to a line of damaging winds out ahead of a line of thunderstorms. It's very difficult to see on radar, but us meteorologists know how to find it and warn for it. Damaging winds are the most common type of severe weather. If possible, you are to go inside when these winds hit. If you cannot, cover your head in a low-lying place and whatever you do, do not shelter under an overpass. Those things can actually make you feel like you're in a wind tunnel and amplify the wind speed. Now join us tomorrow as we continue our severe weather awareness coverage with talk about flooding.